Okay, we'll do a couple top secrets. Um, folks can head over to um, Discord and ask your questions. I'll load up a few as we get going. Um, you can ask them to Particle, ask them to Our Lady Ada. Uh, first up, this is, uh, I was working on this today, so I made this little thing and I'm like, I tweeted at Basecamp. I'm like, hey Basecamp, look, I have this thing that now tells me when I have a Basecamp thing I have to do. And they said, that's really great, you're blowing our minds. However, change the logo please, because they just did a new logo, so it's, it's fine. And then they said, wow, you did that really fast. I'm like, aha, so that was kind of fun. Um, the other thing I did was, um, as soon as I get all the pie portals, I put animated GIFs on them of Columbo eating a sandwich. So I want to play that. I feel like I learned something, but I don't know what. That's right. And then uh, last up, we have a little stem of video that um, shows that you're we talking about earlier in the show about getting Python on lots of different things and being able to do sensors. Yeah, what is this? Hey, everybody. It's Demo Sunday, and I took the classic APDS 9960 proximity color gesture sensor, and I made a cute little Stemma breakout board for it. That's so cute, so you can plug and play it. No soldering required. And also over the weekend, Carter and I finished up support for the MCP2221. This is like a $1.25 USB to I2C converter. So you can see this is connected to my computer, the USB-C cable. And I plugged in an accelerometer and a gesture sensor here. I'm testing. And what's neat is it now works in Move because it's just USB. So this is actually running on my computer, connected through USB to those sensors. And I can press play, and then as I move my hand up and down over the gesture sensor, you see the data is plotting. So what's neat is there's no Arduino or microcontroller involved, it's just directly into my PC. And I can try a different sensor, so here's a demo with the accelerometer. And again, I move the accelerometer and data is coming into Python directly for plotting and analysis. So I think this is really powerful because you can write all your code and you don't have to deal with a separate microcontroller, especially if you want to do like powerful machine learning or data analysis where you need to have NumPy or something to do that analysis. I think this is pretty neat. And uh, this is a preview of the stuff we're working on. STEM Sunday.